tonight on Old Spirits. OSI moves to the upper floors of the Octagon Mansion at 585, and T tries out automatic writing for the first time, opening himself up to what remains there. Phil then joins T in a double Estes, and the many voices of the Octagon make themselves known. Can you help me? The North. So you Union? Yeah. Interesting. Did you fight here? Did you survive? And here we are. Part two of our investigation in Withville, Virginia. It is so great to be back. And boy, do we have some incredible content to show you tonight. But before we get to that content, you know what you need to do. Make sure to like this episode. And while you're there, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and enable notifications for whenever we put up new content like live streams, which we have coming up, premieres like what you're seeing right now. And of course, memberships. Memberships are a great way to support the channel and you get emotes, you get behind the scenes footage, you get behind the scenes photos, any kind of stuff set to your budget. We don't ask you to be a member, but it really does help us out in so many ways along with those likes and subscribes here at Old Spirits. Is it my turn? That's your turn. <laughs> so T, we're back in Withville, Virginia at the Octagon Mansion at 585. And for what, as you saw in part one, was shaping up to be a pretty intense investigation. And, and what better opportunity than to try something new with, who's my favorite guinea pig? T, <laughs> what did we try that was, that was new? Okay, this is a bit of a disclaimer because we have featured automatic writing before. We have. We have uh, on the last holiday special with me and Pip mm -hmm. when we were at the Balladary Inn. But it was here, it was at Withville where we tried automatic writing for the very first time. Yeah. Now I've, I've trimmed yeah. down as much as I can of the, of the intro because I didn't want to have to go through all the setup and everything like that with the, with, with the, with the audience. Yeah, but we might even not subject to our, that to our members. Either. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but, but at the same time, there was uh, a bit of nervousness concerning automatic writing because I'd never done it before. I, and and we'll, we'll come back to it uh, on the couch commentary at the end of this episode, but this was brand new. This was our first outing into it, and I don't want to give away any spoilers because I want you to see it. I want you to experience it with me, and trust me, it's not going to disappoint. And then how do we back that up? Well, let's just leave that. Let's, let's leave that in our back pocket as well yeah. for something fun that we said, yeah, let's do this too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, are you let's, do, let's do this too. Are you? <laughs> yeah, without, without. I feel like that should be one of our t-shirt, one of our many t-shirt designs. Let's do this too. Let's do this too. And then have the Old Spirits logo on the back. <laughs> Why yeah, not? Why not? Okay. Right. On that note. Let's get into it. Let's do this. Julian against the bed. Give yourself, give yourself a little back support. Um, no, because this is going to make me sweat hard. It is, it is stifling up here for me. I'm sorry. It really is. Do you want to do this in downstairs? No, no. We're up, we're up here. We're okay. up here. And how long do you want to do it for? Is the question? Uh, until we don't think we're getting anything else. Okay. So let's just get me set up. Okay. What do we need to do to set you up? I need to plug in. I need to plug in? All right. I need to. Although, plug no, in. he doesn't listen to anything. He just doesn't listen. And writes what comes in his head. But he wanted sound, like white noise. Yeah, I wanted white noise. Okay, do we have a spirit box up here? Uh, how about I give, oh, I have one more, I was like, I can use my phone. Um, I have one. You can select your radio station. All right. Now, are we supposed to ask questions, or you just kind of go? I thought he just kind of went. Yeah, I think he just goes. You just go. Well, yeah, I mean, you also you react to it. You also react to it when you... Um, usually the person just writes if they don't say it out loud. Yeah, mm. yeah. But someone watching over their shoulder. Usually, right? I mean, usually, uh, usually, usually, yeah, you usually, like, at least, at least the ones that I've seen. 
Ooh. Stay away from there. Mm. Yeah, I think it's her room. Let's stay away from your room. Do you want the portal going while you're doing this? Maybe the portal might be smart. Can I plug into the... No, I guess I can't plug into the portal, can I? No. I mean, it would be like plugging into the spirit box. Right. Okay. I was saying, do you want the portal going in the background while you're under... Mm. I'm you okay could, with what that. What you could do yeah. is take it like really well, low. Take the spirit box low. Yeah. Yeah. Also, like, if we're going to put the portal on, then we should have everything else speaking. I think if we just keep those two All right. instead of the portal... Mm. What's it? Your pair of oxen hips goes. Sure. But I don't think I'd put it on a suite, do I? I just no, I would just put it on white noise. Uh, which one? I mean, you could just pick a station that has static. Oh, yeah. Which is probably just starting off with static. Yeah. Okay. Do you want the light off? Get yeah, that's good. Just make sure you have a light on this so that you can see what it is I'm writing. Okay. Someone has to, you know, for... for I can for, stand behind you with the light. There you go. Perfect. All right. But yeah, because I've, I've never for, seen for, for, this method where someone, like, observes. Well, so this is new well, for me. For streaming purposes and for video purposes, you have to have somebody, like, you know... Watching over it and reading it and things like that, mm -hmm. and I think you can ask questions. Yeah. Because I've seen it happen where people have asked questions before. Okay. okay. So let us know when you got white noise and are ready to go. Okay, I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna put up white noise and here we go. John was telling us. This is a pretty great bedroom. Why why is that? What makes this so special? Amy. Who's Amy? Is she your mother? Or is this Amy speaking? He's just getting a little loud so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Amy? Is that your name? Is that a name of somebody you care about? That was me. Oh, that was you. Sorry. I'm in pain. We got that downstairs too. Yeah. We did hear about that. We're very sorry. Can you tell you tell us what happened to you? Can you help me? We would love to be able to help you. What do you need help with? What can we help you with? Sick. Do you have... Are you fighting polio? Where's mom? Pathetic. What? I don't want you here. Where? When was the last time you saw mom? Do you remember? Maybe if you told us mom's name, we can. Help you find her. Yes. Yes? The word for that was super. Not okay. Sure. Did you have a super mom? She's really good. What's, what's your mom's name? Let's start with that. I'm sure she was super, which is probably why you are trying to find her. Was your mom sick? Simple. Maybe you thought it 
was simple to find your mom, and it's not, not, not simple. What was the last place you remember seeing your mom? Move it. Do you want me to hold that? Hold what? Oh, yeah, will you take yeah. me? If you tell us where to take you, we can't take you home with us if that's what you're asking. Maybe we can direct you to your mom or something. I don't know. Hmm. It makes it really hard. Is someone else taking care of you? Is anyone taking care of you? Who? Where do you want us to take you? Did you live near here? I can't. You're saying you can't remember? Where am I? You're in a very lovely house right now.
What's your favorite game to play? Do you have a favorite game? What should we do? What should we do? I'd like to play a game. We're lost. Do you have a favorite game? What should we do? What should we do? I'd like to play a game. We're lost. But I don't feel like that's going to be there. What kind of game do we play? Can you? Wait, does it say where? Where? Mm. This is go, and then this is where. Where shall we? Where shall we go? Where should we go? Where should we go? Uh, well, we have to stay in the house. Yeah, we can't leave the house. Then you. But we should go somewhere in the house if you want. Is there a room you'd like to go to? Time. Time. Time is running low. Yeah, we are gonna have to. Uh, Leave soon. I just felt a cold breeze. That would be nice. Um, good chill. That's good. Can you keep cool our friend down? Me. Was that you? So I literally said, I said, was that you? And I went, me. Oh, nice. Should we leave him in for a while? Yeah. He's still, still going, I think. If he stops, I suppose. Sorry, that's me. Is there a device going on? That's me, that's me. We talk, I think that says we talk a lot. We, we talk a lot. I, I touched you. Oh. Did you touch our friend? Can you give him more cool air? He needs it. He's hot. He's, he runs hot. Audrey, is there anyone else here with you? Anyone else here with you? Just us. It's just us. Is there anyone else here you would like to spend time with? Somebody else from Withville? Was he someone from somewhere else? Who is who is that? I can't help you. Well, that's Phil. Mm -hmm. That's Tina. <laughs> Maybe I should know who that's T. That was me. But I feel like there's others out here in the hallway. There is. I saw a shadow earlier. You did? Yes. Yeah, I, I feel. Uh, I'm going to make a beep. This is me, this is me, this is me, this is me. Have we met? Oh, God. 
Ghost Troopers said, have we met? Why'd you say good guy? I heard some kind of voice. I what? Out of the kids' room. And he just said, what? I don't know what it said, but my hair is all... There's a lot of running in this. Okay, good. And it could have been my foot on the floor. I'll um, say that. Scary. Yeah, it is. It was a bit scary for me. I know, I'm probably silly to you. Can you tell us how old you are? I don't think we've asked you that question yet. I'm okay. <laughs> I'd love to know how old you are. Our daughters, well, they're all Team Pip have an adult, essentially, daughter, and we have a 16-year-old and a 13-year-old. Done. I can't do that Okay, anymore. he said done. It says done. Okay. And a 13-year-old. Done. I can't do okay, anymore. Okay, he said done. It says done. Right. And a 13-year-old. Done. I can't do okay, anymore. Okay, he said done. It says Tap done. Yeah. And I, got, I can't do it anymore. Tap him out. Okay, that was strange. Wow. It was, it was pretty cool, actually. It was pretty cool. It was, that pretty was cool. wild. It was cool. Like, it, we got direct answers. Yes, and the best part was, yeah, we just tapped you out because you wrote done. I know, I, I, I could feel myself saying, hey, could you, I just, But when you wrote done? The paratex said, I can't do it anymore. What? Yes. yes. At the same time. Oh my God. You're at the same stinking time. I swear, I swear this, th there was a, yeah. No, you know, he talks. talks a lot. I kept, I, I wasn't sure if that was my subconscious. But I kept, I, I kept, first I thought, I thought, I, I was, I thought, Phil talks a lot. And I was like, no, no, that's just, that's just me, that's me, that's he me, that's me. He was actually told and me. Then, and then, I, I really felt this voice say, no, he talks a lot. And that, oh my God, that feel is seen, I feel seen, I feel seen. This is, oh shit. Language. This is, ha, huh. oh, that's wild. That's you should watch this one. Yeah, where I, I, I felt that one. I felt that one. I felt that one. That was where, where do you, will you take me? And we said, where do we, where do we go to take you? And this, you said, I, the rope, I don't know. Wow. <laughs> that, that was that more was, interesting. That was very interesting. Good wow. job, Dean. Thanks, man. Good job. First time I've ever done that. I, I might have found you. You might have found your thing. I might have found my jam. I might have found my jam. But that might be your thing. Well, no, I think you should try. I want I want you to go under sometime and try that because, man, that's. That is a very different feeling from, uh, from, uh, from, from the Estes. Yeah. Very different. It was very, very interesting. It was uh, really, really interesting. I take back everything I said about automatic writing. Because <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen that one, that one psychic that, well, that we like. Don't take that off because oh, we're, we're doing Estes. Yeah. Oh, that's right. The grand finale. The grand, grand, grand finale. finale. The grand finale. Oh, and I, I'm a participant in this. Yes, you are fun. Oh, right. I guess I should. So, I will, I will, I will, I will, so, so for full disclosure, I couldn't hear either of you. I could hear you, and it was basically I could hear you reading it, reading oh, yes, my yes. answers because I knew you were sitting next to me. I was just like, yeah, there's no way I'm not going to hear you. But there were some answers I didn't hear at all. And I was wondering if you had, like, I was like, did she not read it or something? Get Sometimes Phil read it because I couldn't see past her. Uh, okay. I had to sort of hand it. Just really hand it. <laughs> All right, babe, are the headphones and microphones of yours up here? Mm hmm. My backpack. Oh my gosh. Backpack, backpack, backpack. You're wonderful. She's amazing. She's amazing. Wait a minute. That was so funny. That was amazing. That guy. Yeah, that was... Made sense, too. Yes, it might. It's a lot of it. Ooh. T, how do I turn off the noise? Um, on, oh, wait, on, on this thing? Mm -hmm. uh, wait, on your, on your gimbal? Yeah. Well, you need to ask your gimbal sister. I don't know. I just turned I think, I I think just it, the volume as far down as on my... Know, uh, as far as I know, Tina... You should look under settings. Who are you? And under look after all these hours. <laughs> I know, right? I would look under settings, and there are settings. I would look at uh, I would look at sounds or something like that. There's got to be something under settings that would do that. That was that was cool. 
He was very cool. I'm glad I, I'm glad I could do something that Phil thinks that, that Phil thinks uh, knocks it out of the park. Uh, that, no, I said it was cool. I didn't say knock it out of the park. There's not there's not a park that could have held that. That was wild, man. All right. Now the question is, would I do it again? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. I, I would do that again in a heartbeat. Gonna, uh, that was really that was really something. Where is that? Why do you put the green light? Put the green light on the bed so that you've got a light shining on you. Can I play with the train? From the last dance to the last girl. Can I play with the train? Alright. Alright, so we're going to go back to back on this one? Back to back. No, why don't you guys face each other? Should we hold hands? Yeah. Should we kiss? Yes. Should we oh, kiss? Okay. Keep the connection. Should we go docking stations? <laughs> <laughs> what you could do is just sit quite cross the knee and facing each other. Come on, man, we are alive. I know that's not as cool, but. No, no we're going to so, face each other. Crisscross applesauce. Crisscross applesauce. I uh, prefer to do the spider. Because uh, <laughs> the spider leads to the human centipede. You need to angle yourself this way. I do. Okay. For the light, for the playing purposes. So, okay. so we go over a little bit more. Oh, well, we can move the light. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's not our job. That's 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 our photographer's job. She is the one that makes us look. Is this it? Push the light. No, that's one. We should have a. We should have. I have one in my hand. Here it is. It's 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 a twixt. Oh, that's 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 just move on. I know, but I was going to tell you I saw shadows back there earlier. Yes. Um, cool. So I don't know if that's exactly where you want to So, hun, I think, I think you're, um, squeeze over here. Woo! I think you're, um, you're going to need to uh, recharge this after tonight. It's, it's going to work out. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. It's still got a good battery. Take any minute. I don't want to hit you. Uh, which one is? Oh, How do you want that? That's me. Oh, yeah. Um, which one is sweet on this? Okay. Uh, you want it faster or slower? Because it's at four, that's its fastest. Slower? No. Nope. Okay, and then you hit sweet. There you go, there you go. And um, how do I slow it down? <laughs> I'm all set. Are we holding hands? Did you want us to do that? We're not holding hands. Okay. You just rest to yoga style. <laughs> I'm going in. I'm going in. Okay. There we go. Look who lives. I'm with you. Ooh. Bless you. Oh. Is that you, Reverend? Get back! Whoa. <laughs> Reverend. Is that you? I like it. I just felt a breeze. Might have been too many falls. Might have been too many. Multiple things. So who are we talking to tonight? I'm Come the favorite. Me. You're the favorite? No way. <laughs> You're talking to two different people? How many people are up here with us tonight? You know what I mean? Yellow star. You know what I mean? Okay. I told you. No, you didn't tell us how many people are. Good walk to XL. I'm down the road. Ooh. Close. It's hot. It is hot. Do you like it hot? Under key. It's made of wood. It's. Does anyone know where Audrey's mother is? Think back. We don't know. We're trying to find Audrey's mother. <coughs> Enemy. Oh. 
Phil. On the treetop. Phil. Ooh. So you can break your It could. This is how fast it's going to as well. Yeah. White. White as a person or white as a color? Live, live, live. A lot of different voices in. Can you give? Can we give what? We don't need it. It's hot. It, it is. We've established it is very hot. What season is it for you? Two piece. It's two piece weather, is it? KFM. Yellow. Rolius. Damn it. There's so much going on. I don't know where Get back. Sorry. I'm getting the get back as well. Should we get back? 19 seconds. Oh, what happens in 19 seconds? I don't know. I shouldn't have asked that. Oh, what happens in 19 seconds? I don't know. I shouldn't have asked that. What happens in 19 seconds? I don't know, I shouldn't have Who are we talking to? How many people are we talking to? Holy Spirit. Oh, is that you, Reverend? Reverend Snow? Sing in. Oh. Wait. Wait. Watch. Where should we watch? It's a continuation. It's Crockett. A place where you can. Crockett. Crockett. Evan. Crockett was one of the uh, polio. Oh. Do you remember the polio epidemic in this town? In the evening. Oh. It's, it's okay. okay. It's hot. The polio was right in the middle of summer, right? That's true. Black. There was a lot of black. People had to wear a lot of black. Hi. Hi. Who are we talking to? Dorothy. Dorothy? Are you, do you know Audrey? The Little captain. The captain? Captain of what? Are you a Union soldier? Phil. You know his name, don't you? Play nice. <laughs> Dead. Wow. The obit. So you're it's over. Oh, so many. I like that. It's you. Did you say Phil was you? Yeah. Feet. Hey. Not feet again. It's feet. It's feet. Okay. I'd do it. <laughs> I'm sure you would. <laughs> Oh God! I'm okay. I'm okay. Is that him saying they say that, or is that him saying? I'm, I'm, it's Phil's I'm dead. Report through the day. Now it sounds like there's soldiers. Yeah. How many soldiers have we got? No. Not soldiers. I grabbed him. Ooh. Did you grab Phil? I think that's why I said, "Oh God." Yeah. Don't grab, please. That's the idea. Touch is a gentle. Touch. It's yummy. Ooh. The spy. The spy. Oh, was there a spy for the union? Do you believe this guy? Who are we talking to? I want to take. What do you want to take? You can't. Plans. <gasps> Just forget it. Great. So you wanted to take some plans? Who are you working for? Kazoo. Kazoo. That's a kid. Uh, yeah, that's a very good. There's different on oh, my mind. Conflict. I feel like Phil's talking to a soldier. He's talking to someone different. You. <laughs> You're talking to us? 
I just heard a voice outside the headphones, like right here. All right. Push it. Please help me. Really sounds like a soldier. Were you on the attack? Bodies. Were you involved in the attack on with them? Awesome. Hi. Hi. Were you defending with them? And? And? Were you one of the defenders, and? We're waiting. The king. The king? How far are we going? Oh my. It's scary. Oh, that's what we got before. It must have been scary. Everyone was shooting at the Money. Mm-hmm. You're accused. Spirit. I'm old. Open mic. Oh, we do have an open mic. Love. Oh. Cold. Morning. <laughs> Sounds like tea's talking to Jeff. Me. What do you want? Pip. How am I right here? Uh, I just want to talk to you. I really want to know your name. I'm here. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hey. Uh, hi. Who am I talking to? Hey. Hey. See, that's what you did too. Be like different people. Like, don't say hi. Hi. Hey, the people. North. The North. So you Union? Yeah. Interesting. Did you fight here? Did you survive? The North. So you Union? Yeah. Interesting. Did you fight here? Did you survive? The North. So you Union? Yeah. Interesting. Did you fight here? Did you survive? Oh, yes, yeah, she is. Oh, so that doesn't sound great. Makes me think the... <clears throat> Are you one of the people in the graves? Torpedoes. <coughs> Torpedoes, gosh. Why don't? She don't. Who's she? Baby. Uh, My baby. It's black. How do you? Is that my friend from downstairs? Is he? Is that who we were talking to downstairs? Blood. Maybe not now. Save me. Sorry. Save Save him. How are you doing? I'm not. <laughs> he's over there. We're doing fine. How are you feeling? He's back. I don't see downstairs. Yeah. You heard him. Okay. Well, we're, we're going to... What the hell was that? I was... That was me. Bust. Okay. I'm like... I'm Mushies. Okay, let's... let's <laughs> Mushies at the end. <sighs> Did someone come up like right next to me and go, ah, No. Oh. Yeah, no, we would do that. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make any sense? I thought I like, there were so many people yeah. trying to yeah. say stuff. I see what you mean. Yeah. It was like but voices on top of voices and music layers and it was just, it, it was, was quite a lot. It was it was it was chaotic. It yeah. was really chaotic. That was the most and I had stuff come through but a couple times it sounded like it was in your ear. It was like in my ear, and it was a weird like voice. And the last one was like, ah, like I felt like at one point I, I, I felt like at one point I, I disconnected from it because I was like, I started uh, my mind. I think I think I'm just getting tired. My mind started to wander where I was going, where I was saying, yeah, I still haven't heard that squelch that I heard back at Creston, you know. <laughs> Okay. 
Was your foot touching me at any time? Uh-huh. Okay, that's yeah. weird. Because I felt like I felt like your your foot was doing this. Like, no. it, was, like it was keeping the beat. Oh no, I was stone still. Okay. Yeah, but at one point I you saw me jump probably. Yes, what was the you mean, what the like hell? Went, whoosh, like right between us and like jumping. I told, you, no, I told you guys when I was when I was doing automatic writing, I felt at one point, I don't know what I wrote, but then I felt like this automatic, I felt this chill go right by yeah. me. And I'm like, like a breeze. Okay. Like a, yeah. 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 There's and definitely no breeze in here. I know. Yeah. The, the, I knew there was no breeze in here. That's why I was like, okay, no, I feel it was like a cool breeze. Cool breeze just wow. blew between us. Cool. Well, you didn't feel that? That time we were doing it, when we were doing it? No, the only, the only thing I felt was, I felt like something was tapping against my foot like yeah. this. As if to say, as if it was keeping the beat with the, uh, with the, with the sweep. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. So I got to say, even watching that back was exhausting. <laughs> and I'm not meaning like necessarily a bad exhausting, but each phase of what we just watched yeah. was as intense as it was on screen as it was for us in the moment. But let's start off talking about the automatic writing experience okay. first. Okay. As that was... I mean, it was new to all of us. I mean, we were familiar with it as a concept. Yeah. We've mm-hmm. seen Cindy Kaza do it and, and other sensitives do it. And this was the first time we had brought this into our wheelhouse. We gave it a shot, yeah. And we gave it a shot. And we are going to be doing an in-depth five-minute paranormal about how we came across this particular style, what it was like, where my headspace was in this whole thing. But right now, let's just give a let's give a bird's eye view of what yeah, it was. And yeah. for me, I knew I was onto something when I took my blindfold off, and <laughs> and I looked at everybody, and yeah. all of you had the same look on your face. And it was I was like, oh, so I guess it worked. And some of the yeah, stuff, <laughs> man, some of the stuff that I remember, I remember even looking in the book and just going, oh my God, I, I, I vaguely remember writing mm-hmm. that down. And there was some other stuff that I had no recollection well, of. Well, and, and just the corroboration for what we were experiencing in right. the moment, right. what was happening with certain devices in the moment. Mm-hmm. Wow. And yeah, yeah. And now I will say, and I do want to cover this here and now, I didn't hear any of you. I heard some murmuring, like because <clears throat> the the white noise coming in and the blindfold. I didn't see or hear anything. You're cut off. But what? But not. The, but yeah, <laughs> what it was was I I approached it the same way that I approached my writing. I sat down this time in, in, with a with a with a pad and, and and you know pen in hand, and I just wrote whatever came to mind, yeah. and. Some of it felt like it was pulling me out of it, but then some of it was very much part of what was happening in that moment. Yeah. And it was, it was extremely intense. And I, I remember thinking, 
okay, uh, I'm a little tired, but I think I got a little more left in me. <laughs> and that was when we went to the double S. Well, I was gonna say, it was extremely intense, and so why not follow up something that was extremely intense with something else that has the potential for being extremely intense, and as you saw, it was extremely intense. Yes, and, <laughs> and while we have never had a double Estes before, on the episode, we have had a double Estes before shared with uh, our audience in the members only section because we just had so much from Charleston that we couldn't do, but that was where we first did it was Charleston. It was with Nick McGear who Nick McGear. introduced us to that I the idea of doing yeah. a double-double. And spoiler alert, our next investigation at the Belmont Farm Distillery, we do another double Estes. But here's the thing. When we did it with Nick McGear in Charleston, and we did the the double Estes in the uh, in the in the distillery, there was I felt sort of a uh, of, of of a pattern, if you will. There was there was a cadence, there was a pace. Not no. at the Octagon no, Mansion. No. It was coming from all it was, sides. I honestly, for me, <clears throat> and especially in watching it back, because as it happens, sometimes you just. Forget the details I of these for, events. No. Well, I did. I <laughs> no, did. I did not. But I did not forget <laughs> that. I remember after that SD session, I was like, "That was a mistake," <laughs> and uh, I mean that in the nicest possible way. <laughs> so for me, it felt like I felt like I was a revolving door mm -hmm. of just energy coming through me and different voices expressing different things, and yeah. it was at such a pace. Because usually uh -huh. when I do an S an right. S method, There's, I feel pretty calm. Right. And, you know, it's got it, a groove. You get into a, you get into but a at trance. times it just felt almost oh, no. frantic. Oh no, it, it was, was the the, the it, image that came to mind was uh, was Helen Mad Murdoch hanging off of the relic helicopter blade, going, "You spin me right yeah. round like a record, baby," because I was dizzy at the end of that one. Yeah. And there is a method to that madness. I the reason I felt like that was so frenetic so rushed, so over the top in the responses and, and the overlaps and, and us talking over each other, mm. was that house. Yeah. I, and I, I, again, I go back to, to part one. You corrected me and corrected me properly. There's a lot of stuff in that house, but I shouldn't have called it stuff because that downgrades what it is. There's a lot of history in that yeah, house. there's a lot of and history. Regardless of how much time this is going to add to this particular episode, I want to share this one particular story that impacted both of us pretty heavily. There was this, this story that John told about a brownie camera, and I'm going to play that uh, right here, right now. Have at. It's a little story, a little story. Late 70s, friend called me. He's up. His grandfather died. They're up in the attic cleaning out the attic. Yeah. They open a trunk. They find an old brownie camera. Remember those? Oh, the brownie yeah, cameras. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Had film in it. Okay. Oh, uh, man. Had film. His grandfather had put his uniform in there and everything else. So I, he goes, can I take it to Walmart and have it published? I said, don't go near Walmart. <laughs> I got a place in Wisconsin who dismantled the camera. Take the film out and do a professional job with it. Here's the deal. I'll give you the address once. You guarantee me I get the first copies out of it. First copies are on the wall over there. It's a Pearl Harbor. No, come on. Oh, are you kidding? I'm not kidding. Never oh. seen before. What? Yeah. And these are these are from that camera. From that camera. That was in well, your... Well, second was very close. Second, well, that's the Arizona. That's second. I was going to say, that's a shot of the... I've seen that shot published before. That's the shot of the Arizona. That's a rare shot, too. It's, it was when... It was the kill shot. I mean, they're gorgeous. Yeah. They're and gorgeous. Horrific. And horrific. For that age. Yeah, for the, yeah. Wow. I mean, I don't know about you, but me, I, when I got up close to those photographs, I was like... That that is crazy. That that blew my mind. I mean, that, gave, that I was. I get chills just thinking about it now. I mean, in that moment, I was speechless. I know. I know. Just trying to comprehend what I was seeing. I mean, yeah. That, but even just to think that you know, the photons of that moment in history he had are the kill imprinted. Shot. On, he had the kill uh, shot of the Arizona. Is unbelievable. That's amazing to me. Yeah. And. Along with all of these, uh, with, with these photographs, you've got all these other bits so of much. history. Like the drums, that, drums? The, that 
11, 12 year olds would march into battle uniforms, playing in the Civil War. The, the, yeah, the uniforms you had, Canteens, all of these, all of these I mean, uh, you know. It's endless. We could sit here for three days and not even get through one of the rooms. I know I had a certain way of describing the Octagon Mansion at 585, but I think I wanna come up with a better descriptor for mm -hmm. it because it's like stepping inside of a history book. Mm -hmm. And remember that scene in Interstellar where they're flipping the pages and he's just falling through the pages? Mm -hmm. That is kind of what being in the Octagon Mansion was like. You were just falling through pages on pages on pages on pages. You didn't know where to look, but yeah. there was still an organization because if you got close enough to certain items, they were they were num they were all numbered. Oh yeah, and yeah. he had a catalog yeah. of like, oh yeah, this is this thing, this is this mm -hmm. thing, this is this thing, and there is so much history in the Octagon Mansion. So there's a show that my wife watches, which is sort of like the the Great British Bake Off 2.0. Now I'm going to have to I'm gonna ask you and ask everybody here to bear with me. I was I'm say, going somewhere with this. Where are we going? I am going somewhere <laughs> with this. It's called the Repair Shop. Okay. And you see these people bringing in all of these broken or worn pieces of, of stuff in their house, but then they tell the story behind it. My grandfather died on the beaches of Normandy, I see. and okay. he brought this back though right before he went on that mission, and it's the last thing I have of him. And you watch how they painstakingly restore all of this with yeah. a lot of love and care, and then of course they do the grand reveal, right? right? Well, I know that there is a prevailing thought that people cannot attach themselves to certain objects. Can or cannot? Cannot. That's okay. a, <clears throat> I haven't heard the cannot. Maybe I have. Keep going. I know that Jason doesn't believe in it. Jason Hawes. Okay. He does not believe in it. And Jason's protection. great. Don't get me wrong. We love our Jason Hawes. But Stack Jason, there's bats. nothing saying that your theory is the theory. But I've also heard other people talk about, no, I don't think that that people can have attachments to objects and that and that, and that objects can't bring in the, the psychic energy. But the point I'm getting at is you see how attached people are mm -hmm. to these things that bring you to the repair shop. It could be a toy, it could be a bicycle, it could be a, a, a somebody brought in a mannequin that was wearing a, a, a traditional sari. Mm -hmm. and, and you see how invested these individuals are. Then you go to a place like the Octagon Mansion, and the stuff that John has collected, that he has amassed yeah. over the years, that place was just one giant trigger object. Yeah, yeah, and you know, per attachments with physical objects, when Cindy Kaza was on Don't Turn Around, which will be airing you know, a few weeks after this, we talk about this concept of you know, we are not just one whole, but there are many aspects that make up ourselves, many aspects that make up our personality, many emotions that cycle through us. And so maybe, you know, it may not be a whole individual that is attached to the object, but just this energy of a certain aspect of self or an energy of a certain emotion that maybe over time becomes something new, and that, that just occurred to me just now. In that moment, maybe something new is almost growing out of, out of this initial charge of energy on this object, and that could be a whole other five minute paranormal, uh, but I feel like we have, just in that investigation, encountered so much activity that was different vibes were different at different mm -hmm. times, and all the different personalities we felt coming through when we did our double Estes and the automatic writing to say that if someone were to say to me, no, 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 you, you know, nothing can become attached to a physical object, a spirit can't be attached to an object, I'm gonna say, I feel like we've experienced otherwise. I would say, you need to go to the Octagon Mansion at 585. Yes! <laughs> and you need to you know, talk to John and Debbie because yeah. there, there really was just, it was, it, it was the first time, I think since Crescent. Now Crescent was a 12 hour experience, yeah. but this was more like a four to six hour experience, but I was exhausted yeah. after that. You know, Not just because of not knowing where to look, but just all of the memories and all of the 
the different voices that we heard during during that Estes, it was it was draining. Yeah. And I give mad props to Tina for getting us back to our um, Airbnb because yeah, I, I, I don't think I could yeah. have made that drive. Yeah. I could not have made that drive. But what an experience! What an experience! Um, cannot speak highly. Cannot speak any. Uh, yeah, cannot speak more highly about the uh, the Octagon Mansion experience. Mm -hmm. And before you say, yes, there's a lot of stuff in there, go back and look at the stuff and you realize there's just a lot of history in there yeah. and just an amazing place. But uh, Phil, I think that wraps up this I investigation. I think that wraps up so, this yeah. investigation, my friend. But we would love to hear your stories. Have you been to the Octagon Mansion at 585? We'd love to know what you experienced, so make sure to drop us a comment about it or any of the Octagon mansions across the country, because we've heard that they have some juju about them. We'd love to hear your stories. So drop us a comment, and while you're there, like the episode and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and enable notifications for whenever we put up new content, because all these interactions, the likes, the subs, attending our premieres, all that stuff really helps us out at Old Spirits. And before you go, make sure to check out our members section. It's brand new. We've been doing it for the last several episodes now, and we are just so excited to be able to offer content that we couldn't quite squeeze into episodes or content that we have from behind the scenes and bloopers and everything in between now has a home, and we now have a way to thank our community for your support and for getting us onto this road to 5K, which we talked about at the top of the show. Again, thank you so much for joining us. On behalf of everyone here at Old Spirits, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the field.